Hello guys, Justin at Intro Garage here. Just a few days ago, Tesla had crossed its main milestone. The 1 millionth Chinese made Tesla just rolled out from Shanghai Giga Factory. As its operation, the Shanghai Giga Factory has generally become the main export hub for Tesla. Today, one out of every three Tesla in this world is made in Shanghai. What if this Chinese-made Tesla hit 100,000 kilometers? Will it broken in half? An automotive media has already answered the question for you. On paper, it sounds kind of silly. They had spent millions on 19 brand new cars last year and hired a group of professional drivers to run them non-stop in 180 days to simulate real 100,000 kilometers condition, just to give you a test run on reliability and cost so you could make up your mind whether to buy them or not. Who would do such a thing with so much time and money to spend? <laughs> you guessed it, it's us. We are here to answer your question. And this test is called the real 100,000 kilometers endurance test. And now let's meet our partner in crime, the Tesla Model Y. Stop going, yes you can now be a man and girl please shake a glove. Now who you love, now who you love. It now has 105,000 kilometers on the clock. To our acknowledgement, it's probably the highest mileage Model Y came out from Shanghai Giga Factory and possibly one of the highest mileage Model Y in the world. In the past, we had pitted this direct car against another heavy heater in the same price range, the Mercedes GLC 260L. Mercedes, as a traditional luxury brand, GLC is always one of the most competitive products. We thought it might have a larger chance of winning. Both models are among the best selling SUVs in China since their launch. But the Mercedes is a bit more expensive to start with. The actual purchase price of this particular model, the GLC 260L dynamic version, is about 60,000 US dollars. Some 7,000 US dollars north of the Tesla. And it didn't come with any discount from the dealer. Now here comes the shock, the Tesla crashed the Mercedes in every aspect in our test. We are talking about the Brazil versus Germany in 2014. Emotional damn it! But this time, it's Germany stand with no chance, and here is why. First of all, the battery, this is what people worried most. The NEDC range of this Model Y is 594 km, but it only reached 453.6 km in our test during summer. And after 100,000 km, we only did 357 km during the winter. Yes, I know, it looks like a dramatic drop, but it's because of the weather. And as always, we are strict about the result. So we tested another brand new same model, Model Y, on the same road. We surprisingly found this 100,000 km one has 3.3% range more than the new one. So I guess we can say it has no degradation on the battery. Now we all know after 100,000 km, this Model Y didn't suffer from any range degradation. But how about the build quality and the noise control? This should be the part where the mighty Mercedes shines, right? Oh, it is? The top edge of the driver's seat frame rattled around 13,000 km and gotten worse after. The rattling has spread to A pillow, B pillow and the windscreen. We took it to the dealer at around 39,000 km. The noise was cancelled with the installation of a small cotton strip. Next, here comes the Mercedes. To our surprise, even the GLC has no degradation of noise control as well. Also, there are a lot of unpleasant new noise coming up every once in a while. The red front suspension rattle after just 8,000 km. Very noticeable when going over speed bump. At the 10,000 km first maintenance, the dealer only told us to lubricate, and the noise came back after just 2,000 km. And the interiors rattles after 40,000 km.
The dealer suggested us to disassemble the whole interior and inspect the parts one by one, which of course was not acceptable. And the problem is still unsolvable to this day. The Mercedes stuff said it's not a big deal and they are yet to have a solution and a recall program. So as you can see, both of them are not up to a high standard. But even for the quality wise, the Tesla went slightly ahead of the Mercedes. So this time, the mighty has fallen. Let's go back to the Tesla set. The 12 volt charge port can turn in the power after 30,000 kilometers, and it was pro socket connection. The problem is solved by the technician. The charging port can release probably after 60,000 kilometers. Sometimes it needs manual force. Another issue happened once during the winter. The energy regenerative system has been weakened, so the single pedal model is not available. It will back to normal once battery generated enough heat. But we can't really tell when, and if the temperature gets too cold, whether it will be back to normal. Now here comes the kicker. How much do we spend on those two cars during the 100,000 km test? Are you ready? GLC burned 9,174 liters of premium gasoline during the whole 100,000 km test. The cost was only 68 and 963 RMB, which is almost 10,000 US dollar. Compared to the model Y's 18,705 kilowatt hour electricity for the 415 times charging, which cost only 25,273 RMB, that's 3,643 US dollar. Maintenance is now cheap. We spent 21,556 RMB for the whole 1,000 km driving, which is 3,107 US dollar. On the Tesla side, we only spent 1,112 RMB, which is 160 US dollar. That's because we took the car back to the dealer for scheduled maintenance, and after the mechanic checked the brake fluid, air filter, and all those parts, they suggested not to replace any of them since they were still in good conditions. So altogether, GLC cost 90,519 RMB for the 100,000 km, and only 25,273 RMB for the Tesla one. That's only one third to the Mercedes. I always know the cost of the electric car are much less than combustion engine car, but I didn't know how big the differences are. That's our show for today, but it's not over yet, because I'm going to take on this same vehicle to a cross-country trip in China, from the vast and magnificent northwest all the way to the busy and developed east coast, to show you guys whether or not this highest mileage Tesla Model Y in China can still manage to surprise us. Maybe it's time for it to hit 200 or even 300,000 kilometers. <laughs>